Okay. Oh. So, today is the last day of this experiment, day 45, um, and I'm standing at the middle section of my alley that I have been doing some of these talks on. I think I started in this alley, so that's why I'm here. You can see part of it behind me, and then there's another part in front of me. Uh, I guess I can show you that as I'm moving around here. There's a street there, and then there's the other part, which we're going to walk down. So, maybe I'll go this way. I was worried about the sun, but it'd be cool. Look at that. There we go. All right, so, it's a nice warm day. Here we go. I'm going to try to keep it steady here, then. I have been, I think the last couple of times I was a little shaky. Sorry about that. Um, so, 45 days. I do feel different, most definitely. Um, well, the most important one is, well, there's two most important ones, which is the two things I've been doing every day and the connection to those and what the connection of those to their effect on me. Um, I'm noticing right now that I'm a little hesitant and I feel a little off and I'm trying to, I'm, I was thinking about reshooting this, but you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I want to be real, authentic. This is my moment. This is where I'm at. <sighs> I am tired. Exhausted in a way. At the same time that this was an amazing experience, the exhaustion and what's going on around me is very intense, you know. On the verge of potential real homelessness. Like hardcore homelessness, I guess. There's levels of homelessness. I guess I would call myself semi-homeless at this moment. Uh, and then if I'm in a van or a car, that's still not hardcore homelessness. Homeless, hardcore homelessness is in the street. I mean, without any kind of shelter. Um, anyways, so there's that in my being it's part of the exhaustion, I think, and part of this kind of spaciness that I'm feeling from this 24-hour day kind of level of um, uncertainty that's in my being. But also I'm recognizing that it's part of an evolutionary process for me, so I'm embracing that, <sighs> trying to. So today, I'm aware that I have split kind of perceptions of this moment, the day 45. Part of me thinks, well, it's just that the activities I chose, making a drawing every day and doing these videos, um, it's just that I become more comfortable with them and that I actually feel like I want to keep doing them every day. I can't imagine not doing them. So I am assuming that that is at, in the, at the empirical, behavioral, physical level. That's what, you know, what's the intention here. So I probably have succeeded there. Uh, on another psychological level though, psycho-spiritual level, As I've talked about before, the, doing the drawings every day has been really profound. I really feel more, I fulfilled my intention. I feel more of an artist, as an artist. I feel myself as an artist. I, yesterday, uh, my friend Jonathan and I went to uh, a public art exhibit in downtown Palo Alto and just 
looking at art, talking to the artists, I actually felt like I was a, another artist. And that's never been before. So I actually had a palpable um, experience here of a change in my being, of how I hold myself as an artist. So it was great. It was a great experience. So that's another level that this has worked in that dimension. As far as these videos go, I'm noticing psychologically, I have a lot less, how can I say this? Before doing all this, there was always a level of discomfort when I'm in front of the camera. Of course, when I'm behind, no problem. <laughs> but look both ways before you cross. But when I am behind it, I've always had this level of awkwardness. I mean, not, not awkward. Feeling like I'm on the spot, let's put it that way. Not actually being able to be authentic and relaxed and just, you know, hey man, I'm talking, you know. So I think I've succeeded there too because I feel much more, I mean, and actually now I'm realizing by not redoing the video and feeling awkward at the beginning and then just saying, hey, this is what's happening, I kind of showed you guys what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's, I'm, even when I'm not, even when I fall back into an awkward state or whatever, I, I don't run from it and I, it feels like I don't have to run from it anymore, let's put it that way. And actually the awkward state at the beginning was not about the camera. It was about how I'm going to talk about this day. And so I was kind of in this kind of state of not quite figured out what I'm going to say. But that's okay. So anyway, so there is this recognition that I've achieved something here both on the behavioral, physiological level and on the psychological and psycho-spiritual level, I think, or authenticity too, in my being and in front of a camera. So all of this is great. But then there's this other part of me that feels like, I guess I was holding that my whole life might change, you know, like in a drastic way, like, the end of the 45 days, I would no longer be homeless and, you know, I would uh, have lots of fans, let's say, or, or one or two people would be like, wow, you know, how, you know, whatever. You know, my mind goes, oh, here's the end of this street. All right, so spin around. So, and then immediately I go, well, that's bullshit. You know, that's kind of. But that's, you know, kind of unrealistic, wishful thinking, all that stuff. But I recognize I do have those thoughts. And then it's like I'm thinking, all right, it says 45 days, right? So I'm on day 45. It didn't say 44 days or 40 to 50 days. So it's like I was thinking, if I only did it for 44 days, maybe it wouldn't stick, right? Now what happens on day 46? Maybe it's tomorrow. So I don't know. You know, this, this whole idea of when you complete something like this, I think there's this, there's these anticipations, hopes, fears, all this other stuff, you know, that is kind of attached when you set this kind of goal, at least for me. And um, then what am I going to do next? So all of that is kind of playing in. So let's get to today. Today I did a drawing. It was an interesting process. I decided when I got, I did the blank page and I was going to do 
like I've done the last two days and just close my eyes and meditate and let something go. And I got an inner voice saying, yes, do that, but use your left hand. So I did. I used my left hand and I stopped and I looked at it. And then the voice said, do a second layer with your right hand. Same thing. So I did that. And, and then it was added on top of it. <sighs> and then I looked and I said, okay. Then it felt like, all right, it came to me put underneath kind of this spectral um, pattern that was a more of a measured circular, um, circular, um, circles and more um, designed underneath it. So I did that. And then it just was like a kind of, it, it, then I reached a real stream of consciousness where I wasn't even, there wasn't a point where I was looking at it and heard a voice. It was like I was just doing it. So I did this final layer that ended up being a kind of an integration of the different styles I've been playing with. So there was a circle and there was um, freehand and then there was all this other, you know, different colors and different layers of, of, um, of lines and, you know. And then at the very end, I looked at it and it was like, ooh, it, it, it needs on top some more circles. And so it just, you know, it was like, so then I finished that part. And I got strongly a sense when I looked at it that, that this was what I was, this was the bifurcation point I'm at. This is representing the bifurcation point I'm at, but it's not there yet. So it was like this midpoint experience of, oh, this is arising, left hand, right hand, integration, um, chaos and and patterns, you know, like um, chaos and non-chaos, like chaos and order. It was like this integration of chaos and order, which is, if you're, if anyone's um, is familiar with chaos theory, now I'm not a physicist, so uh, this is my own understanding of it after reading, you know several books on it that's you know I'm not an expert so bifurcation point in my understanding is when a system has matured and a new system needs to unfold the old system collapses as the new system arises and but there is this point between the two systems where the old is gone and the new comes out of it. So it's so while it's my understanding, while the old system is collapsing, there are kind of efforts to build the new. But it's still not, it's kind of like it's still inside the old system. So it can't really be that new. So the old system collapses, and then there's this bifurcation point where it just reaches that point of total. Um, it's collapse and then something else comes up. I'm reminded one of the great examples is from the caterpillar to the crystallis um, stage to the butterfly. So like the old system is the caterpillar, the crystallis is the bifurcation point, which is the caterpillar's physical body is gone. The chrysalis phase is actually inside of the cocoon. The body of the caterpillar has turned liquid. So it's totally formless, just being held in by the cocoon. So there is this moment where it's just, its old body is gone. It's just this liquid. And then it starts to become the butterfly inside, you know, and then phew, so that's kind of the bifurcation point. 
and I feel like today there's an energy of bifurcation here. I don't know how big it is, you know, if it's just, you know, you know, and oh, wait, I cut myself off. I don't know how big it is or how small it is or if it's just one stream. That's cool. But it's also resonating for me with what's going on in the world around me. Um, actually, around me, everything is falling away. I think everything is gone now. Actually, yes. Today, ha! Huh, oh, I just got this. This is great. Today, it's June 3rd. It's the day that all of our storage stuff goes to auction. That's pretty profound, man. This was not planned. This was not planned. Okay. Bifurcation point for real, man. Ah, and it's the Sabbath. So that's another cool thing. Not planned. Hmm. I love that kind of shit. And today's lesson in the course is I am among the ministers of the divine. And it's about finally accepting your calling is, is, is the essence of it. And recognizing it and owning it. So it's interesting that all this is happening on this day. So now I'm really kind of blown away. Well, wow. how about that? I got blown away on camera and you saw it here. Ah, instant replay now. Just kidding. Uh, um, wow. Okay. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless here. And that's perfect too. And the bifurcation point. Mm-hmm. is a good point to end because I am at the end of my thought train. There's a cliff here. Oh no. Here we go. I like that background to end on. There we go. <sighs> Anyone's out there watching this? Deep gratitude for being here. Thank you. Um, wow. <sighs> mm, I'll see you on the other side of this bifurcation point. Peace out. Peace in. Peace in between. Peace all around. Namaste. The divine in me recognizes and honors the divine in you. There you are. <laughs>